Lucy, do you have anything to share? Okay. Um, I know for me, I just did a lot of tests this week, but I got a break Monday and Tuesday, so that was really cool. Gabrielle, is there something cool you did this week? Gabriel? Uh, yes, like Monday in this week, it snows in Kunming. And mm. everyone was was excited because Kunming never snowed like this for they said for twenty years. Wow, that's super cool. Thank you for sharing. Uh now now, did you do something cool this week that you'd like to share? No. Oh, okay, that's okay too. Thank you so much for sharing. Uh, Lucy, is there something you would like to share? It's okay if you don't have anything to share. Is there anything you would like to say? Like maybe you got to play with your friends. Um, Lucy, could you please unmute your mic so that we can hear you? Um, um, Lucy, did you get to play with your friends? Did you go to school? Did you get snow? Um, I go to school. Mm. Did you get to play with your friends? Yes. Really? Was it fun? Yes. That's great, Lucy. Thank you so much for sharing. Okay. So I think right now we're just going to have a little time to, you know, talk more get a little more friendly before we move on to the actual lesson so is there anything else people want to share or okay so if nobody wants to share we'd like to start our lesson if that's okay um harry could you please turn on your camera Mm. Harry, could you please turn on your camera? Um, yeah. Um. Okay, thank you. Okay, um, Hannah, would you like to start off the meeting? Okay. Um, so today is February 25th, and we're going to do our Building Bridges lesson today. So our first thing we're going to do is our conversation. Then we're going to review our homework, do our lesson, and then we're going to have homework. OK, so we're going to start off with our conversation. What is your favorite part about traveling? 
Um, Harry, would you like to answer? Um, uh, I, uh, what yeah. is tra traveling? Traveling is um going somewhere. It's like do you? So what is your favorite part? Part. Uh, Kongan. Kongan. Uh, Do you want us to come back to you so you can have some more time to think? So an example of this, the answer is like, My favorite part of traveling is going on a plane. So what is your favorite part of traveling? Uh, park plane, uh, park, uh, park. And um, now it's, um, uh, what? Yes, yes, um, uh, 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 Um, Harry, if you um are struggling, um you could say it in Chinese and then we could help kind of understand. I think it's okay to be. Uh, I I understand. Uh, uh, what is traveling means? I mean, uh, what is? Uh, or or that. 我说公园地名还是说公园那个玩的项目？你喜欢去公园玩吗？啊，你你刚说你是喜欢去公园玩？那个我是说那个喜欢那个公园，还是说喜欢公园的一个项目？哦，就这个问题，他就问你你旅游
I get them using another way. Uh, as those coins were also from other countries, such as this one, dear. Oh, that's really cool. Thank and so I think coins for for coins could be like a symbol of a place. Mm. Thank you so much, Gabriel. That was really, really interesting. And I liked how you went more in depth and I got to learn a little more about things that I didn't know. Um, should we move on? Yeah, we can move. Okay, so the homework we gave you last week is what is your favorite meal? Um, now, now, would you like to answer this question? To an answer the homework? Could you say that again? Now, now, do you understand the question? Lunch. Lunch? Yes. Yeah. Oh. Okay, thank you so much for sharing now, now. Is there some specific food that you like? Like, I really like sushi. Noodles. Say that again? She said noodles. Oh, noodles. Okay, that's super cool. Thank you so much for sharing, Nana. Um, Gabri uh, Gabriel, what is your favorite meal? Uh, uh, my favorite meal is, is, uh, many dumpling flavor. What's your favorite dumpling flavor? It's like beef and carrot. Oh, those are so good. Thank you for sharing, Gabriel. Um, Lucy, what is your favorite meal? I like eat the mm, pizza. Pizza, really, really cool. Do you have a favorite topping you like on your pizza? Mm. Mm. Um, it you could... like cheese pizza? I like eat the fruit pizza. A oh, fruit like pizza? a tart, like a fruit tart, right? Okay, thank you so much for sharing, Lucy. I also really like fruit tarts, and I think that's really cool that you said that. And Harry, what is your favorite meal? My favorite meal is noodles. Noodles. Um, is there a specific type of noodles that you like? Um. Uh, is is so many noodles or uh, or Chinese um noodles, meat noodles or. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Oh, oh, that no. sounds oh that sounds really good. Thank you so much for sharing, Harry. Okay, so today we're going to be doing continents and vacations. So we're gonna start off with our introduction. So we're gonna learn about some facts about tourism. So tourism makes a lot of money. 
In 2016, there was 1.2 billion tours. Osaka, Japan is the world's fastest growing place to travel. In 2017, travel and tourism makes a lot of jobs. Countries put a lot of money into tourism. Global tourism is the largest industry. The world's top tourist destinations are France, USA, Spain, China, and Italy. One-tenth of the jobs are supported by the tourism industry. So we're going to go by continent. So first off, we have North America. So these are a few facts we gathered about North America. It's the third largest continent in the world. It has 137 people visiting every single year. There are 23 countries in North America. The languages spoken in North America are English, French, Spanish, and that's it. Um, what countries are in North America? Uh, Gabriel, would you like to answer this question? Uh, uh, in North America, there's Mexico and to celebrate part of USA, also Canada. Brilliant. And, and the islands in the side is Cuba. Wow, really impressive. I'm super proud of you. Thank you so much for sharing, Gabriel. Um, I think Gabriel got a lot of them, but uh, do you guys have any questions on the slides that you guys want us to go over? Does anybody have any questions? If not, we'll be moving on. Okay, so here are some of the places to travel in North America. So the first one is New York City, USA. The second one is Washington, D.C., USA. Third one is Niagara Falls in Canada. The fourth one is Yellowstone in USA. And the fifth one is the Grand Canyon in the USA. And the last one is the Chichen Itza in the USA. Oh, Mexico. It's in Mexico, sorry. Um, is there any country or any place in the past slide that you guys wanted to go to? Is there any place that looks really pretty or like stands out to you? Uh, Lucy. So see on. Uh, Mm. Lucy, what place would you like to visit? Lucy, what place would you like to visit? Mm. I don't know. <laughs> Oh, it's okay. Thank you for um, trying to speak up and like talking to us. Um, how about Harry? Is there some place on here that you would like to visit? Um, I like the, I like the New York. Really? Do you think you all would like to visit it one day? Have you visited it? Because the building is so high and so cool. Oh, really? Okay, thank you so much for sharing, Harry. Okay, I think we can move on.
Okay, so the next continent we'll be talking about is South America. So the countries in South America are Argentina, Bolivia, Brazil, Chile, Colombia, Ecuador, Guyana, Paraguay, Peru, Peru Suriname, Uruguay, and Venezuela. Brazil is the only nation that speaks Portuguese here. Rubber was made here in Brazil. South America has the tallest waterfall. It has both the world's longest river and the driest place, the Amazon River and the Atacama Desert. There's a lot of biodiversity in South America. It also has a unique and beautiful culture. Have you visited South America before? Um, now, now, would you like to answer? Have you visited South America before? Now, now, have you visited South America before? Now, now? Okay, if you don't know the answer, we can do someone else. Um, Gabriel, have you visited South America before? Uh, I didn't visit it before, but but I heard in South America there's lots of people good at football. Yeah. Do you want to go there someday? Gabriel, would you like to go to South America? Uh, uh, yes, and and I think I will go to Brazil. Oh, that's a very cool place to go. Who's your favorite um football player? Gabriel, who's your favorite football player? Uh sing and and Actually, for some time, I didn't only focus on one player. I I focused on the race they had. Oh, very cool, very cool. Thank you so much for sharing, Gabriel. Okay, so these are the places to travel in South America. So we have the giant hand in Chile. Machu Machu Picchu in Peru, Buenos Aires in Argentina, the Easter Islands in Chile, Rio de Janeiro in Brazil, Torres del Paine Na National Park in Chile, and then the Yuani Flat Salt Flats in Bolivia. Now, now, is there any place you would like to visit here? Any place that looks pretty?
three. Did you say three? Yes. You want to say what else, Ari? Do you want to visit Buenos Aires, Argentina? <clears throat> Nana, what do you like about the picture? Great. It's great. Do you think it's colorful? Or maybe it's pretty because of maybe the landscape or sorry picture oh thank you so much for sharing that now thank you for enduring it um harry oh Harry, is there some place you would like to visit in South America? Um, is, uh, is, uh, is the Grand Hot, is Grand Hot Hunt Trail. Oh, the giant hand. Oh, what do you like about it? Um, uh, eh, see why you does it look cool? Uh, it's so star, it's so star, and then uh, it's. Uh, and cool. Yeah. Oh, okay. Thank you so much for sharing, Harry. Okay, now we're going to talk about Africa. And Africa is the second largest continent in the world. There are 54 countries in Africa. Some examples are Egypt, Madagascar, Ethiopia, Sudan, etc. The Nile River is in Africa. The Nile River is the largest river in the world. The Sahara Desert is also in Africa. It is the largest desert in the world. Africa has a variety of tropical climates. So in Africa, there are many places to travel. So one of them are the pyramids of Giza. These pyramids were built 5,000 years ago. And the Great Pyramid of Giza is one of the seven wonders of the world. There's also the Zambezi River. And in this river, you can see different animals like hippos and elephants. The last place to go in Africa is Cape Town. And Cape Town has a lot of cool buildings and scenery. Lucy, where would you like to visit out of these three places? Lucy, are you there? Where would you like to yeah. visit? <laughs> Would you like to visit the pyramids? Uh. Did 
It's okay if you don't want to visit Africa. Okay, um, Gabriel, where would you like to visit in Africa? I like to visit Cape Town because because I heard there's a lot of sea. There's, can you unmute? I didn't hear what you said. I'd like to go to Cape Town. Because I heard there were many special things. Special things? What special things did you hear about, Gabriel? Like some special food and, and a kind of tree. Or actually, that's that that looks like bushes. Oh, that's very interesting. Thank you for sharing, Gabriel. Okay, so our next continent is Europe. Europe is the second smallest continent. It is made up by Russia, Germany, France, Italy, Spain, and Greece. And there's more, but those are some examples. There are 44 countries in Europe. It has the third largest population. It is surrounded by water on all three sides. So these are some places to visit in Europe. So we have the Eiffel Tower in Paris, the Colosseum, in Italy, Venice, Santorini, Greece, Barcelona, Spain, and Berlin, Germany. Lindsay, have you heard of any of these places? Is there any place you like or want to visit? Is there a picture that you like? I don't know. Do you think mm -hmm. any of the places look pretty? Lucy, have you heard of the Eiffel Tower? Lucy, do you know what yes. the question means? You've heard of the Eiffel Tower? Um, is there... Yes. Well, would you like to visit the Eiffel Tower? Would you like to see it? Lucy, would you like to see the Eiffel Tower? No. Yeah. Okay, thank you so much, Lucy. Um, now, now, is there any place you would like to visit in Europe? That picture. The fourth picture, Santorini, Greece. Yes. It looks very beautiful. Great choice, Nana. Thank you so much for sharing. Okay, so the next continent is Asia. Asia has the most people or the largest population. It is the largest continent. 
Asia has many mountains. In Asia, there are 49 countries, including China, Korea, Japan, India, and others. Can you think of any more countries in Asia? Gabriel, do you have an answer to that? Any other countries in Asia? Mm. Mm. Thailand and Thailand, Thailand yeah, and Mongolia. Mongolia. Oh, those are very nice answers. Um, Harry, do you have any other countries that are in Asia? Uh, I know the Russia in the Asia. Russia, yeah. Anything else? Um, uh, yes. Um, so, Turkey. Uh, in Turkey. Can't think of anything um, else. Hmm. Is. Oh, yeah, Turkey. Very good. So in Asia, there are places to travel to. So one of them is the Burj Khalifa in the United Arab Immigrant Emirates. There's also the Cherry Blossom Festival in Japan the Bangkok's Grand Palace in Thailand, Mount Fuji in Japan, the Great Wall of China in China, and the Taj Mahal in India. Lucy, is there any place you would like to visit? Lucy? Have you visited the Great Wall of China? Yes. I yeah, know. did you like it there? Yes, I like that. You liked it? That's very nice. Um, now, now, oh, you just, uh, um, Gabriel, is there somewhere you want to visit in Asia? Uh, I'd like to visit in Thailand. Thailand? Oh, Thailand. Very interesting. Gabrielle, why would you like to go to Thailand? Because I think I think it is a interesting country with really long history. Oh, beautifully put. Thank you so much for sharing. Um, next, we have Australia or Oceania. So Australia is a continent and a country. More than one third of Austra Australia is desert. It's the smallest continent and it has seven unique animals such as kangaroos and koalas. The official language is English. So these are some places to visit in Australia. So we have the Sydney Opera House, the Great Barrier Reef, and Yuluru, I think that's how you pronounce it. It's a huge rock that sits in the middle of one of the deserts. Um, now, now. 
Have you heard of any of these places? Would you like to visit a certain place? One picture. The first picture? Yes. What do you like about it? No, I don't know. You don't know? You just like it? Just liking it works. I just like a lot of things. Thank you so much for sharing now now. Okay, so now we're going to play a game. And the game is called First Letter, Last Letter. So how to play is like, if I say the word, oh, no, we need to choose a category first. So if you choose animals and I say the animal tiger, then Christina could say an animal that starts with the letter R. This tiger ends in R. Rabbit. And then since and rabbit ends in T, then I could say another animal that starts with a T. You guys get it? Um, how about we start with Harry? Choose a word in one of the categories. Mm -hmm. Do you guys get how to play the game? You want me to explain it in Chinese? Okay. I'm going to explain it in Chinese, okay? So, this game is just I say a word, like if I say tiger, and because tiger is written with R at the end, then the next person will use R at the end. 再说一个词，假如我先说 tiger， 那 Christina 她可以说 rabbit， 懂了吗 ？Yeah， okay。Harry， do you want to start us off？ 呃、uh, ，lion。lion。Lucy， do you want to go next？ This lion ends in an N. Can you think of any animal that starts with the letter N? You don't know? Gabriel, can you think of one? An animal that starts with the letter N. Um, Gabriel, can you think uh, of... I couldn't figure it out. Yeah, I'm having trouble with this one too. Maybe we should choose an easier word. Um, Gabriel, if I say the... If I say cat, can you think of an animal that starts with the letter T? Tiger. 
Uh, yes, that works perfectly. Thank you so much, Gabriel. Um, Lucy, can you think of an animal that starts with the letter R? Mm. Rabbit. Oh, great job. Um, now, now. Would you like to go next? An animal that starts with T. Tear. Say that again. Tear. Uh, an animal that starts with T. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't think I understand. Could you say that again? Could you spell it? Tiger. Oh, tiger. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, so we're going to go with the animal that starts with the letter R again. Um, Harry, would you like to go? Um, Did you say rat? Uh, 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 do you want to search it up? A fork, a fork, ever. A reptile? Or are I don't know. You don't know? Okay. Lucy, could you think of an animal that starts with the letter R? Can you think of anything? Can you think of anything, Lucy? It's okay if you can't. Gabriel, can you think of an animal that starts with the letter R? Rat. 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 Very good. Um, Harry, can you think of an animal that we haven't said that starts with the letter T? Um, T an animal like t turtle turtle great i don't know oh lucy that's very good okay um now now can you think of an animal that starts with the letter e elephant elephant what do you say? Elephant, I think. Elephant? Oh, very nice. Now that we've played our game for a little while, I think it's time to go to our homework. And if we still want to play the game, we can always come back. 
Um, so for homework, you're going to talk about what is your favorite continent and what continent you want to visit. Um, does anybody want to go back to a certain slide so they can maybe write something down? Mm, no. You guys all understand the question for homework? You may have some questions. If you have any questions, you can use Chinese or English. No question? Okay. Hey, um, how about this time we do food? Because honestly, I really like food. So, um, Lucy, could you think of any food for us to start with? Uh, um, any food? Um, I'd say your favorite food if you don't have, if you can't think of anything. Rice. 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 Okay. Um, Harry, could you think of a food that starts with the letter E? Mm, uh, um, uh, a fish. Uh, no, no fish. Um, um, many meat or beef. Um. Uh, Starts with the letter E, so maybe it makes a eh sound like a eh, eh. eh. egg. Egg. There you go. Oh, Lucy, thank you for helping him out. Um. Uh, let's. Or Hannah, is there someone you would like to pick on? Um, Gabriel, would you like to go next? A food that starts with the letter G. You think of any? Grape. Grape. Wonderful. Um, Harry, would you like to try again? It's E. Do you know any foods that start with letter E? Harry, you are muted. Can you think of anything that starts with the letter G? Oh, um, um, yes. You can't uh, think of, oh, are we with E? Oh, sorry, E. Uh, I will try the Nathan for. Yeah, think of any food. Then do you want to think of any word that starts with the letter E? Um, I'm sure. Uh, yeah. You got this, Harry. You can do it. There's anything that starts with the letter E. Uh, well, 
I think I I think I is uh, is um you can try using Chinese. Uh, yeah. So, e you can say like everything. Like that's a that's a word that starts with e. Can you think of any other word? Yes, I can. Eggplant. Or Harry, maybe an animal with a big nose. Big, big nose. Big nose. It has a really long nose. Maybe it will help if we go back to our Africa slide and we can see the animal. Mm -hmm. Oh, elephant. <gasps> Wonderful! Pretty good. Okay, so should we end class here for today? Um, I think we should end here today, but thank you all for joining and um, trying your best. It was really nice to see. Um, hopefully see you guys next week. Bye. Have a nice day. Nice Bye. day. Bye. Bye, Lou.